a quick word on resilience, you know, like um, women and shame and oh, yeah. standing up for themselves. I really want to know how you deal with that and how can, what's your word for others? Oh, yeah, I think it's really important to, it just comes down to loving, it sounds a bit funny, but just self-love and loving who you are. Like it took me a little while to figure it out, but I think it took me um, going to boarding school and getting really homesick and um, that it's, it's the world is going to be full of people who, who don't, who you won't connect with, but if you don't connect with yourself, you, you've got to, you've got to sort of hold your own, you know, and it starts with loving yourself, I think, and that's identity and that's belonging, you know, to your community, to your family, to culture, um, ancestors and, you know, yeah. um, and just, you know, it's, it's hard being, being in a world that doesn't understand who you are and where you're from, but you have to sort of, in your own way, sort of show people the way in, in a way that is shown by just being who you are. Yeah. So you're saying actions, um, speak louder than words. I think if you just be who you are, mm. Um, and share your stories. I mean, there are good people who will want to be right next to you and listen, and and you can for, you can have friendships yeah. based so, on respect and yeah. yeah. And then um, having you know like your father and um, your stepfather and your partner, mm. you know, like um, from you know different origins, and being there for you, you know, like help you grow and grow um, both out. Mm -hmm. outside of your comfort zone and inside so how did oh, you know yeah. like having those people around you how, yeah. did, how, how did it help you oh i've always had a bit of a um a temperament where because i'm a shy kid i'm a sh i'm sort of low-key and i'm um and i'm sort of prefer to listen and observe i kind of can after a while especially at my age i'm 48 you kind of it, you kind of get to a point where you realise that everyone's just doing the best they can with what they have and and you know sometimes people just aren't exactly who they seem yeah. to be and I think if you can connect with with people in the real sense like in a real way like you know it's incredible what you can do together um I mean yeah it's it's you know it's good to you know be independent and strong and and decide what you want to do and you set you set your goals out but in my experience anything meaningful i don't think it can be done on your own so you've got to have a kind of a sense of togetherness and agent an agency share sharing a, a journey together <laughs> so yeah yeah, and Is you're that making yeah sense? very much. Uh, and what about your Kathy Freeman Foundation? Are you like wanting to extend it across this Australia and having national, um, you know, mm. having a national um, places, you know, like mm. um, campuses around, mm. you know, up here in the Kimberley and all of that? Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> if that was to occur, that would just be a like that would just um, just be just incredible. <laughs> yeah. So what would it look like then? Well, it would be, it would have to be led by community. Um, I mean, I've worked, I guess it, I could call it work, but it's been a passion. It's a heart thing for me. Um, I want, I just want our kids to realize their potential. I just want our kids to see their own magic and see their own, yeah. and see their own, create their own lives for who, for themselves yeah. in this, in our home here, in this, whether it be here in the Kimberleys or whether it be, who knows, mm -hmm. wherever they want to be. So what makes up Cathy Freeman Foundation? Is there governance? Is there leadership? Is there, what is, what can you tell yeah. me what's unique about it? Um, it's unique because I'm very hands-on. I'm very, I guess you could call me the like a sort of an integrity officer. I, I like to um, ensure that the values of the, of, um, of, of our operations that starts from board level is protected like and that the community voice is the voice that is always almost the most it is actually the most important voice yes. in in the whole sort of 
in the whole in the whole system yeah. in our organization yeah. um uh yeah it's 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 definitely it requires me to be to be very honest with myself because if i'm not if it's all or nothing for me yeah. so and self-preservation how do you see that and um what what do you have mm. to um you know like yeah give advice to others self-preservation i think i think recognizing that sometimes it's good to just get in touch with your own feelings and if there are moments like i know for myself self-care means being on my own sometimes yep. um having a little rest like and that means even as a as a you know mothers we work hard we're tireless and we work hard being a community person it means that you know it's non-stop often um and that's the nature of who we are as indigenous people and being in caring for one another and um you know looking after each other yeah. um but i think sometimes it's good. i find that i need to be on, on, on my own yeah. but sometimes even for one or two nights and putting myself first and not having any guilt around that yeah. and and delegating i think and leaning on other people yeah, no worries. and who's your favorite afl player Ah, uh, I'd have to say um, Eddie Betts. I'm a blues oh, girl. Yeah. Yeah, I like Eddie blues Betts. Girls. He's solid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, all right. Thank you very oh, much. Thank you. Oh, okay. <laughs> I got a hug. Thank you. Yeah, all right. Thank you very much. You're all right. Yeah. <laughs>